Morning, everybody. Just wanted to check in, give a special shout out to uh, my first patron, Sean. He uh, joined Patreon the other day. You're a real MVP. Um, I encourage others to join uh, beginning this Monday. Um, I'll have lots of exclusive content going up. Um, I'm going to try to put like um, two or three pieces of exclusive content up there a week. Uh, like kind of like a behind the scenes uh, backstories to some of the uh, stories of the week, you know, story time and some other little tidbits to be announced. I've gotten the works. So uh, be sure that you guys uh, check out the links down below so you can be a part of that. But let's talk about old formats. There's been like a resurgence of uh, old formats. You know, it used to just be goats. People played goats all the time. And you had like the goat purist and you had the people who just hate, hated goats. And then for a while, Edison was really popular. And then Teledad. And then uh, now 2011, 2014, there's a lot of people who like to play the uh, Shadal Burning Abyss Satellar Knight format. Was that the the DUEA format. And, um, and there's a reason for that. There's a couple reasons for that. First of all, whenever Yu-Gi-Oh gets to be in a stale spot, um, people like look for ways to still enjoy the game, but not have to deal with the BS. And sometimes that could be odd, right? Because during those previous formats that people are like hearkening back to, People were still going back playing older formats because those formats were stale. I mean, think about it. So, like right now, I'm, I currently have a uh, goat format deck built. Uh, goat format would be uh, uh, summer, or I'm sorry, uh, spring, late spring 2005. Then you got the September 2011 format, YCS Toronto in particular, and then you have the uh, post Nats format of 2014. And so that was like uh, Sylvans and I think Firefist and Mermails. And so, so we'll take um, we'll we'll take the Sylvan format for instance. People were still going back and playing old formats because uh, that format was like so lopsided. Um, I will say that I believe that Sylvans was the best deck. But it's either you played Sylvan's, basically Soul Charge dot deck, or you played Mermails, you played Fire Fist, and then it was like there's no other deck to play. I mean, of course, people played other decks, but if you wanted to compete seriously, you played one of those three decks, and perhaps Gear Gear. But I mean, a flip flop deck. Yeah, okay, we'll find <laughs> those four decks. You played one of those four decks because um, uh, Gear Gear did have some explosive plays if they could set up their traps. But other than that, uh, you, you played one of those decks, and then that was it. So pe people would harken back, and they would go back and play Edison. They would go back and play the Go format. They would go back and play Perfect Circle. They would go back and play Teledad. And then going back, during Teledad, people still went back and played Goat because nobody, well, not nobody, but very few people wanted to shell out $200, $300 for just one Dark Arm Dragon when the OCG got it as a rare. I mean, the fuck? <laughs> so... Anyway, so we're looking at 2021 format, which is basically 2020, February 2020 Redux with a couple extra decks sprinkled in there for flavor. And uh, people are tired. People are people are bored. People are sick of the, the staleness. And um, I don't see that getting much better. I mean, it's kind of exciting with the new set coming out. Uh, we get a return of Drytron. So that's kind of cool to see what it can do. Although it will get stale really fast because a Drytron player with the Herald of uh, Perfection on field with four, four to five cards in hand, I mean, they're negating your entire hand. I mean, it's... <laughs> so unless you open Dark Ruler and they can also dodge the Herald of Orange Lights in your hand, you're still not playing. And then they just kill you next turn, so it's whatever. So people are just playing old formats. So the other thing is uh, people who quit the game, but they still have like their old cars. They like quit the game and like their collection was on pause. So as you guys well know, I disappeared for a while. And um, around 2013-ish, 2014-ish, 
and um, I kind of kept up with the game. Um, I reappeared here and there. Um, I would like go to locals and like borrow a deck or like buy whatever buy whatever cheapest deck it was at the format and play this a little bit to get that little Yu-Gi-Oh itch out, and then I would disappear again. But I always still had my like my uh, my older decks because you know just like my favorite decks of the time. So I still have the cards necessary to build an Edison. Still have cards necessary to build 2011. I, uh, I went and got a Sylvan deck. I still have my Teledad stuff. I still have my Perfect Circle stuff. I still have um, my Dragon Ruler stuff. Because, you know, when you have a deck that you just really like, you just kind of keep it, you put it in a binder, and you put it away. And at this point in time, Shadal's is one of my favorite decks. And so I'm not currently playing Shadal's. But whenever I feel the itch to, I can pull it out. And maybe in a couple of years, someone will say, oh, let's play some uh, uh, some 2020 format or some 2021 format. <laughs> or it'll probably be called the 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 extended quarantine format. <laughs> and you have to be, well, what time, what, what set are we talking about? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine people wanting to play Dragon Link Mirrors five years from now. Like how people want to play Dragon Ruler Mirrors. <laughs> Anybody down to play some Dragon Link Mirrors? Oh, yeah, that's dope. That was my favorite format. No, it wasn't. No one liked that. <laughs> well, those are my thoughts, guys. Hope you guys are having a beautiful day. Um, sorry for the late video. I usually try to get them out Monday through Friday. But I got my, uh, my 5G antenna implanted. I got the vaccines. <laughs> but everybody's talking about that. <laughs> But yeah, I got my uh, got my vaccine, and uh, we're me and the missus are doing a bunch of running around. So uh, yeah, got really busy. But anyway, thanks you guys for your patience. Thanks for watching the videos. Please give me a thumbs up, and uh, we'll see you Monday. Thanks.